One person is dead tonight and nine families homeless after an apartment fire this morning in Rensselaer. News 18 Samantha Tiki joins us with the latest on that investigation and how the community is lending a hand. Sam? Yes, early this morning, a fire tore through the Parkview apartments. Now residents are trying to figure out how to move on after losing everything. You can't even explain how bad you feel, you know, just, oh, God, especially when it happens on your property. Early Thursday morning, Parkview Apartments owner Charles Ramage got a call about a fire at one of the nine unit buildings in Rensselaer. You just feel like, well, it's your fault, even if it's not your fault, you just feel so terrible. Investigators believe it started with a kitchen fire and a lack of firewalls caused the flames to spread quickly, trapping some people inside. I've seen lots of buildings you know, spread quickly, but I've never had a, a fire of this magnitude. This glass from a second story unit lays on the ground after residents were having to break their own windows and jump from the second story into the arms of first responders below. They actually um, took all the victims or paid or you know, people and moved them off site and got them out of the way from the fire so we can do our job. An eight year old boy was taken to Peyton Manning Children's Hospital in Indianapolis, and a 58 year old woman was taken to IU Health Arnett Hospital in Lafayette. But one person was missing. Volunteer Fire Chief Kenny Hahn says it was not safe to go inside the building until several hours later. That's when they found the body of 63 year old Mark Stokes. Oh my gosh, I felt so bad, you know, I knew nothing I could do. Now, nine families are trying to cope with the loss of their homes. Well, they're all like one family, so they'll, they'll, I guess they'll get together and just go on with their life, you know, you just have to, I guess. The American Red Cross has handed out vouchers to the families. Now, donations of food, clothing, and toiletries can be dropped off, dropped off between the hours of noon and 10 p.m. at the Eagles Lodge on West Harrison Street in Rensselaer. Samantha Tiki, News 18.